Howdy, and welcome to day <laughs> 12. 12. And we are talking about Pan Away, which has always been one of my favorites, Oh, actually. it can be a real best friend. Yes. I think it smells like candy. I do. I think it's, it's like amazing. licorice to me. Mm. Well, oh, I don't like than, licorice. No, no uh, root beer. Root beer, root beer. I, I meant say, to say where root are you beer, coming up not, with licorice. Not licorice. There's some other ones that smell um, like licorice. Yeah, but. so it's good stuff. Pan Away. And um, yeah, it was one of our first oils because it was in the Essential Seven Kit. Yeah, it's yeah. been it's been from the beginning, very early. Okay, so our wellness concept today. Well, we're doing pan away, and we typically think of that as like a body oil, like muscles and helping us just stay relaxed and refreshed. And um, so Peter demonstrated that in his video. Um, right, how about actually? It's feeling better. Feeling, feeling pretty good. I mean, there's more to work on. I mean, it's it's not just not. Don't expect a one and out type of scenario. It just doesn't work that way. But right. it's definitely, uh, you know, once I can move it, uh, you know what I'm saying. So the little bit of massage, a little bit of essential oil helps that grease the, you know, the joint there. And once the movement happens, I'm like, oh, now I can actually move it, stretch it, get circulation in there. So it compounds forward. It benefits. Uh, more than just that, oh, it doesn't hurt so much. No, it actually, you know, now we're actually getting better. Right. You want to kind of be moving in the up direction? Yeah, moving and in And so the up. I, that really, we were really reflecting on how this is really indicative of the wellness zone and how that mindset shift is so important because it's going to dictate or your actions are going to follow from your mindset and your thinking. I mean, this is, this is a category that really, 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 uh, uh, is a challenge for, for many people in terms of, well, I can't do that wellness stuff. I need real relief here. I don't need some of that, you know, uh, uh, whatever. I mean, I need real relief. And it's tempting. I mean, I've been there. I've totally been there. It's tempting to want to suppress the pain. Um, it's because I just, I have things to do. I was in constant pain when we first started on our wellness journey, like 100% of the time. And I'm like, well, if this is my life, then I'm going to get on with my life and I'm going to keep going. And so I was constantly on, um, over the counter. So I don't know how, I mean, it's just to explain she has scoliosis with rods, you know, surgery at 13, uh, to put rods in the back. I mean, you know, we were pretty major stuff. So 10 years later, I was just, I had constant headaches, constant body pain, constant everything. And, um, and I'm like, well, I got to get, get on with my life. Okay. And I'm going to, I have things to do. So, um, so you just deal. Right. So deal I was on, with it. like every time I could take, I following the instructions for the over the counter, I would take an over the counter like every 12 hours or whatever. And, um, but that is not, that was that getting me better? Hmm. No. And actually the pain wasn't really gone. I was just kind of numbed out. And when I first started, just like we talked about yesterday where we were using caffeine to numb out being tired. Um, it was to override. Override. The, right, the way we really are. Being tired. Right, right. I, I couldn't tell when I was hungry. I couldn't tell when I was thirsty. I couldn't tell when I needed to go to the bathroom. I couldn't, you know, tell you that I was in pain. Really out of touch. Very out of touch, even though, like, I still had a constant headache. Yeah. So that wasn't getting me better. Mm -hmm. So when we move into the wellness zone, um, I think I talked about that before, where um, the wellness zone is your body is good. Your body does good things with good resources. It already knows what to do with it. And three, your choices, your, your choices if you, you know, if you don't like where you are in your health, you know, your daily choices are affecting that. And what can you do right now? And um, so when I flipped out of that, like, oh, this is just happening to me and to, oh, the choices that I'm making are making this worse and I can make it better. It was a huge, huge change. It's very empowering. Very empowering. And, and to us, we're, we were in it for the long game. You, you see, when we when we arrived at this, we were both so beat up I mean, with well, major, we major young. health we issues. We knew we had, well, we didn't know we had our a whole life. We hoped we had our We hoped life. we had, you know. A long life, but we didn't years count on that. Of, but, you know, <laughs> I'm saying, so I, I think a lot of people... They don't. They don't hit this kind of pain. They don't hit this kind of problems in their life until they're you know older. And they're like, oh, I'm getting old. 50, 60, 70, and we hit it when we were in twenty. And so the difference there was, you know, we were like, oh my gosh, we've got to. If I to, can make the next sixty years or the next eighty years better, better, or if I could even make it past 
five, ten years, that would be great. And that was a big <laughs> issue for me. So so what we were in it for the long game, right, the long term looking at this going, okay, it's not going to work to just keep taking a painkiller and suppressing the, you know, or an anti-inflammatory or whatever and just suppressing symptoms. It wasn't, that wasn't getting. It wasn't getting, working. It wasn't working and was not going to get us where we wanted to be. Right. And so I didn't care whether it took a year, two years, three years, ten years. It didn't didn't matter. We're still doing it. We're, we're still on, doing we're it. On the we're journey. still getting better. Yes. Uh, Which mean, is great to be able to say it. And in fact, age. at my age, at fifty, for me to say I'm better off than I was when I was twenty, I mean, yes. truly, truly in better shape, physiologically, physically, in every way, better uh, than I was when I was twenty. Me too. Yeah, and that's fantastic. And I mean, have we worked at it? Yes. Have we put tens of thousands of dollars into our body? I think we're over that. <laughs> okay, a hundred thousand dollars into our bodies. <laughs> Over time, over 25 years, you know, with body work and training and figuring out and all the supplements and oils and whatnot. Yeah, sure. Um, but when you look at the cost of that, I mean, really, one major surgery would eclipse the amount of money total that we've put into our bodies in all the wellness stuff. Right. Right. I mean, if you look at it. Right. So it's that wellness zone, that wellness mindset. And so it is a shift. And how do we make that shift? We practice, we practice, and that's what you go back over. We're on day 12, we're finishing up our wellness boot camp. Start it over again and do it again, and just remind yourself on how to use your oils the oils that you already have, and then build on those skills every time you go through it. We're building on the skills as we talk to you, we're enjoying this, mm -hmm. and we're like, Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I, 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 need to wa I need to be drinking water. Well, I mentioned in the video this morning that I'm actually cleansing, I'm actually starting to flush stuff out because you're aware, because awareness is a powerful part of wellness. And me bringing my awareness to my body and doing these videos, I've actually yeah. started to do some cleansing. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Okay, I'm putting some pan away as I was talking about the pan away. My neck's like, hello, I'm yeah. right here. I'm right here. Hello. <laughs> now, there are a lot of blends that Young Living has. Because essential oils are so fabulous to enhance massage yes, uh, as topical enhancements for any kind of massage, there's a lot of different you know, blends that, awesome. that Young Living has. Why don't I do this all the time? Yeah, really. Valor is one of those that you do yes. have. It's in your kit. Um, but you've got peppermint, which is also a great topical. Lavender is actually a great topical for, for you know, anything. We'll so you about. have some tools already, but there's more like deep relief, uh, relieve it. Um, there's the CBD muscle rub. It's a whole other layer of, uh, of discussion we haven't really had. Um, you like to do the peppermint wintergreen. Peppermint wintergreen peppermint combination. Wintergreen, co copaiba, copaiba by itself. Copaiba. Um, the, you there's know, there's the, a roll-on. The deep relief is a roll-on application. So there's a bunch of different ways. And ortho the massage, massage oils. oils. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of products that all point to this, and and it just kind of highlights the reason there's a bunch of products is because it highlights how effective essential oils are for this kind of enhancement uh, to our massage. So yes. doing a little bit of self-massage, figuring that part out, uh, and getting the oils on. They don't do any good in the bottle. They don't. They, or they in just, the little shelf. Yeah, we have no. a really cute little shelf and all, all they organized. They just collect dust. And they don't, they don't do any good They're at it. very hard to dust in the back of that <laughs> shelf. <laughs> we try not to look at it. Okay, so <laughs> I know. So our challenge today is to use the pan away. And you could do it every hour like we were doing with the stress away and the lavender. Or um, probably what I would do just um, is more like four, four to six times a day. Maybe every time you eat or, you know, transitions during the day or whatever, however you're going to, you want to do that, set a timer for every two hours and put, put it on an area of interest and just feel like I'm like, it's just washing over me. It smells awesome. And then my neck is just now I'm feeling the like coolness and a little more, you know, ease of movement. I'm like, oh, this would be awesome if I did this every day. <laughs> Maybe I, I could. Should, maybe I should oh, remind you. I could, yes. Because if your day goes better, my day goes yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we talked about skill, uh, self-massage. Um, it's really not that hard. Well, I, you mentioned eating. And I'm wondering, I, I would ask you this, because um, I think you, you've you developed this skill really, really well. How quickly do you experience pain inflammation increase if you've eaten the wrong way? How quickly between the time you eat something that you know, hey, that's not good for me, and the time your body says, oh, 
Wow, I'm oh, in Oh, like, pain. I know, like, I, 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 like, literally put it in my mouth and I knew I shouldn't, or it was accidental. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm talking about, yeah, like, like, when do you register the pain increase? What's that? Um, a lot of times it's not actually until the morning It's the after. next day. Right. Yeah, now, I'll gonna... get, um, like, especially if I get surprised by, I'm pretty, I mean, I know how bad it is for my body, how awful I feel when I eat refined sugar. Um, so I'm very motivated to not do that. So, but sometimes it sneaks in, even though like I have a sweet tooth, right? Uh, <laughs> just a little. Okay. So I have found ways that work for my body to make, you know, make sure I get my sweets. Um, so, but when they, when they, when that refined sugar, when I get sneak attacked basically, and I don't realize that I'm eating it and it is. Um, like it's in just something I'll get a, I'll get a little tickle in my throat, a sore throat within five minutes, five, 10 minutes. And That's go, the immune response. Yeah. And then I'm like, yeah. Oh, I got sneak attacked. And, um, and so then I'll, t I'll take my enzymes, help my body process it and digest it quickly. And then, um, but I mean, that, that's an immune response. That yeah. does happen that quickly, by and the way. And then I'll have and a little bit of digestion I had issues. a doctor argue with me on that. I'm like, okay, you, you don't know what you're talking about mouth. here because the immune system responds very quickly to yeah. stuff that's coming in from the outside. Right. So I'll have digestive stuff maybe within an hour or so. And then, yeah, usually after I sleep, I don't sleep that well. I wake up more stiff. And Now, at that point, if, if, if it had gotten that far and, and you wake up and it's like, oh, crap, this is a food hangover, you know, day. What do you do? Yeah, that's a different, that's a different mind, like connection to make. That was a huge thing for me to be able to be like, rather than like, oh, I'm so stiff and sore. No, like, no, I oh, noticed that. That's what I'm saying. For, that's why I'm asking something. you, because you're really, now yeah. at this point, you really know. And, yeah. and this was, because what would happen is she would go off to a girl's event, you know, Bunko or whatever, and she would eat stuff that she shouldn't have. And it was all fine. She'd come back, tell me about Bunko, you know, they're saying go to bed. Next morning, trashed. Totally trashed. And I'm like, okay, w wait, wait, we can't do this. So, you know, what do you do? Uh, you know, so two things. One is to intervene early. Right. That's the enzymes. Right. Now, what do you do for the day after? What do you do the morning after? Um, putting oils on topically will help, you know, in the moment, just, just like you feel it. Right now, just play with your pan away and feel it because that's when how you're going to know when your body needs it or like, oh, that would feel so good right now. So rubbing oils uh, on. Rubbing oils on and then I take enzymes again, and mm -hmm. even if it's the next day. Okay. Um, I take uh, sulfurzyme really helps me. I feel like my body doesn't detox as efficiently as it could. So I take sulfurzyme at bedtime to help that process. And so I'll take more sulfurzyme. Just to kind of help my body flush things out. So there are there are quite a few tools. Maybe you should include a sulfurzyme. We'll put sulfurzyme. We have a whole playlist on sulfurzyme because we love sulfurzyme. Sulfurzyme is very helpful. Yes. Um, so the, there are factors. What I'm saying is, as we talk about wellness in the context of of you know our body aches and pains, there are factors that we can contribute to. What? I forgot to put it on my notes. We were going to talk about how to make a massage oil. Oh. So I didn't know that was on your we, notes. No, it's, it wasn't. We talked about oh. it earlier. <laughs> but I remembered. Okay. So m massage oil, because you could do their whole body. Because really right now, today, um, you may or may not have a particular area you want to work on, but you can experience Panoy and just kind of build up your body's database of that. So you could put it into a massage oil. And generally, we talk about about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. As being a full body massage, maybe two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, I think, is well, fifteen mils. What's that? Is that one tablespoon? That's, I don't know. I can't do mils. math right now. That looks it's like one much. tablespoon. Um, so this is a fifteen mil bottle, the bigger bottles. This is a five mil bottle that uh, that she's holding of the pan away. So uh, uh, not of the oil. Yeah, I'm, talking, I'm talking vegetable oil. Yeah, so Please don't. like a fractionated coconut oil. Right. We actually, in our massage practice, I use um, just regular coconut oil. Um, but any vegetable oil doesn't matter. A tablespoon or a little bit more of vegetable oil. And then you can add to it. Um, I Anywhere between 5 and 10 drops. Even for, all the way up to 20. Yeah, you, you could. You, easily you could do a 20, 20 drop uh, massage. Depends on what you're going for. If you're going for a specific effect, you'd probably go up for 20. If you're just like, I want to experience this oil and, 
you know, do a full body massage, five drops is probably fine. Mm -hmm. um, like if you're doing kind of an aromatherapy spa massage, five drops of lavender or whatever. Right. If you're, if you're looking for that, that, that more, you know, sort of gentle global effect, if you're wanting to really get that I oil in there, down. you know, and, and hit it, then, you know, put 20 drops. And that's not too much. Uh, right, because you're going to be applying it over time, you know, as you do a massage over your whole body. And um, you kind of just stir at the toes. I think I have You have that. a self-massage routine. I have a self-massage routine. I'll put it on there so you can download it. Um, okay, I think, oh, let's make our connections, right? So for wellness strategy, we really kind of talked about all three parts of the wellness strategy. So what are the three parts? Stop poisoning ourselves, flood the body with nutrients, and manage our stress. Right, and we applied it to the musculoskeletal system. Because stress, we don't know how much we talked about this, but stress can really increase your tension. Mm -hmm. And that just adds cranked up. Remember we talked about that stress graph? Yeah. And then like, you yeah. like this, it's time to go to bed. So, you know, it's a really amazing as you've been working with these tools, hopefully this whole week, these whole two weeks, as we've gone through the boot camp, you're starting to experience how... Any one of the tools can, you know, can make an impact to, you know, what happens by the end of the day. And imagine if you layer those tools, you know, uh, with some strategy and for you that works for you and say, OK, I really need some of that pain away in the morning and pain away in the afternoon. And I'm going to use lavender at this point and stress away with here. And maybe you're not using the same oil every hour, but an oil every hour. And those are strategically stacked in place so that, man, at the end of the day, you're, you know, just very refreshed. That sounds awesome, actually. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> okay, so from the four essentials for life, uh, talked, food and we talked a lot about food. We kind of hammered on food. That wasn't in our plan, but it's hard to talk about this and not recognize the connection. So, um, yeah, food and then water circulation, both from drinking your water, but then also getting that circulation into allowing it to get all the way through into your, all parts of your tissue. Right. Um, and then the wild wellness program, primarily we're talking about the musculoskeletal system, which is month seven. That's a cool one. Yeah. A lot of good stuff. All right. Well, y'all have a great day and use your pan away and, and we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about cleansing a little bit.